welcome back to the channel and this week we are traveling to a time before chapters before primaris before command points and before stratagems this is the horus heresy We are playing 1500 points on a 4x4 table. The deployment is Hammer Anvil, although on a 4x4 it may as well be Dawn of War. And the mission is Shatter Strike. So we need to get scoring units into our opponent's deployment zone. And also we have Slay the Warlord. And another one that I've forgotten what it is. Attrition. Attrition, there we are. Right, it is Space Wolves against the Word Bearers. Let's see what we've got. My Warlord is Gegor Fellhand. He is attached to a unit of Grey Slayers. My second HQ is a Legion Champion, also attached to a unit of Grey Slayers. These ones have shields. And then I have Tactical squad there, tactical squad there, Tartarus Terminators, Sergeant has got a Volkite Charger, Special Weapon is a Plasma Blaster, and over there in reserve is my uh, veteran tactical squad. They have got a Heavy Bolter, a Plasma Gun, um, six Power Swords, and their veteran tactic is Stalkers, which will let them outflank. Okay, so here's my force for today. I'm using word bearers. I haven't taken a right of war. Uh, characters, I have my warlord here, who is the Praetor and Cataphract the Armour. Then I have a chaplain. Troop stresses, I have two tactical squads, both with Vexillas. Uh, I have two dreadnoughts here, a mortis dreadnought with two carries, pattern assault cannons, and a regular one with a multi melter. In Deep Strike Reserve, I have five Ashen Circle, five Galvorback, and five Cataphracty Terminators. My Warlord trait is Voidwalker, which is how I managed to get the Terminators into Deep Strike. And that's everything. Uh, on to turn one, the Space Wolves are not going to attempt to steal the initiative. Okay, so in the movement phase, I just moved up everything. They moved there. The Dreadnoughts moved there, and these guys just kind of moved out the building a little bit. Alright, so Shoot and I only fired the Dreadnoughts, and they both fired at that unit, and they killed five, including the Vexilla. So, at the end of the morale phase, they... Uh, not morale phase. So, at the end of the shooting phase, they pass their morale check. I don't have anything else to do for the rest of the turn, so on to Space Wolves turn one. In my movement phase, these Grey Slayers are going to start making their way around the side. The Terminators are going through the building. This tactic squad stayed where it was. I didn't want to become targets for a firing squad. That unit is going through that building. And that unit is moving around the side there. I don't believe I've got any shooting I can do. Mm. Now let me just check. Right, I did manage to get a couple of shots off in the end, so this unit managed to get two shots at that unit there, but I didn't hit. Whereas this unit fired through the building, and I managed to kill one of his tactical space marines. Um, obviously no morale checks needed for that. I'm not charging. Um, I don't think I'm going to run. Yeah, do you know what? I am going to run some people. Uh, Terminators did run further into the building, and this Grey Slayer squad ran, just getting closer to the building, preparing for what will come next. Uh, nothing else for me to do this turn, so on to Word Bearers, turn two. Okay, so at the start of turn two, I'm rolling for reserves. The Terminators, yes. The Galvorback, yes, and the Ashen Circle, 
Yes. On to movement. Okay, so in the movement phase, they moved out of the building. The dreadnought moved there. That dreadnought moved over there. They moved over there. My three deep strikes came in. They went there. They were meant to land there, but they scattered. They hit their target, though, as did the Galvor back. On to shooting. Okay, the Mortis Contemptor fired through the window at them. It only managed to kill one of them, though. Okay, this squad fired into them. I chose not to fury of the Legion because I want to overwatch later. I killed three of them. Okay, this unit fired into the Terminators. I managed to kill one. The uh, Chaplain tried to fire his plasma pistol, but it got hot, but he saved. The Dreadnought also fired, but didn't do anything. Okay, the Ashen Circle just fired at these guys. They killed one. Right, the Galvor work fired into those guys and killed three. Okay, Terminators fired into that unit. I did one wound to the character. Uh, that's all for shooting. I can't charge, because... Uh, morale. Morale. Right, so nobody failed in the morale step, so that's the end of shooting. I don't have any charging to do. Oh, actually, maybe I do. Okay, I don't think I'm going to do any charging, because you can't charge after you deep, after you deep strike. So, that's the end of the turn. First thing I'll be doing is rolling a reserve roll for my veteran squad. Ooh, it's a four, so yes, they're coming in. Fellhand and his unit are moving backwards to see if they can take on these Terminators. There's four man unit just moving through the building, see what they can do. They're facing off with the Ashen Circle. Over here, they're ready to engage the Galvor back. Terminators have cleared it through that um, building. And the veterans came on preserve from that side. I did get re-roll, but I got the same side. I was kind of hoping they'd be over there. Let's see what we can do. Right, in their shooting, they didn't cause any wounds over there. That small group managed to kill one of those tacticals. And this large group killed one of the Ashen Circle. Let's do a bit more shooting. Terminator shot the... Plasma Blaster? Yep. Yeah. At the Dreadnoughts, but didn't cause any wounds. Um, this unit furied a legion into there. I managed to kill two. And that unit shot into the tactical, and I killed two. Right. Um, is, are your Galvor back immune to morale? What does Stubborn do? They're not running away. Um, I'm going to do some charges. I'm going to get some close combat in this game. Right, Fellhand and his unit got into combat with the Terminators. The Champion and his unit got into combat with the Ashen Circle. And the Terminators got in combat, uh, uh, twisted tongue, combat with the Dreadnought. Overwatch was fired, but no casualties were sustained. First fight between... The Grey Slayers and the Terminators resulted in one Grey Slayer dying and all the Terminators dying from running away, but they died. The Grey Slayers slayed the Red. Nothing more to say. And finally, let's see if we damage that Dreadnought. I hate that Dreadnought. I lost two Terminators, I caused two whole points, so that combat was a draw. That is the end of my second turn. So on to World Eaters, turn three. Right, in the movement phase, all I actually moved was that, and I pointed the Dreadnought over there. Okay, so I started the shooting phase with the Mortis Dreadnought firing at them, and they saved every single shot. And they, these guys, Fury of the Legion, into them and killed four. Okay, and then these guys decide to fire into that unit, and they kill two. That's actually all my shooting, so I want to charge with my car fallback. Hang on. Morale. I need to do a morale check for that. Okay, the Galvor work charged in. I, I got one wound in Overwatch. So in the combat phase, nothing actually happened here. We failed to wound each other. And over here, I killed six of them. They ran away, and I'm catching up. And now it's Space Wolves turn 3. This guy here continues to flee to the edge of the battlefield. The veterans are moving closer in to 
Let's sort out this group here. They're heading towards the dreadnought because I've got a melter bomb there, so you never know. They stayed where they were just to lend some support, and they're going to head them off at the pass. On this side of the board, he took a shot at them, no wounds. They fired their bolt pistols at them, no wounds. This unit of Grey Slayers then ran. They shot at them, it didn't cause any wounds, and they fired at them, causing one wound. Charging! This unit lost one to Overwatch. This unit lost one to Overwatch. This unit didn't lose any to Overwatch. Let's do some fighting. So this combat here, I lost two people. The world is word bearers lost six people. But they passed their morale, so they're not running away. Right, the champion with his melter bomb managed to destroy that dreadnought. So it is now a smoking husk. Final combat for this round. No, there's still two more combats. Let's do that dreadnought next. The dreadnought valiantly fought me, but I saved. And then I hit him with my power fist and took his last hull point. Another smouldering husk. See what the veterans make of these guys. And in this combat, I managed to kill two people, including his chaplain, and he didn't hurt any of mine. Hey, dead people. That is the end of my, of the whole turn three. At this point, I don't think I can win because that scoring unit is probably going to die in combat. The other scoring unit is also probably going to die in combat. And then I'll have no scoring units and I can't get the objective. So, yeah. You've only got two units left, don't you? Yeah. Oh, so I do. And the Galvor pack. Oh, yeah, the Galvor They're pack. doing fine, but they're not scoring. So. so you get one victory point for them being over there. Yeah. And I would get two, four, six, eight. More than one. Plus one for every unit of yours I've wiped out. So another, what, five? Yeah. Victory to the Space Wolves! The Sons of Russ are triumphant in our return to the Horus Heresy. Looking forward to the new edition. Well, thanks for watching, and we shall see you next time. Goodbye!